Welcome back, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Um, sorry for the long wait. Um, as you can tell by my voice, I've been very sick. Uh, so I haven't even been uploading very much at all. Um, but it's been a while since I played this. Um, and I just, I really want to wrap it up so I can start on number two. Uh, and get to number three and then Andromeda so I can be prepared for when the next one comes out. Uh, and I got a feeling it's going to come out sooner than, than later. So, you know, I want to get ahead of it. Um, now we came across the path of no return there. Um, I don't know if that's like the last, uh, mission right there, or if it's like a precursor to the last mission. Uh, but there's the side missions. Um, it's not a lot of them. It's just uh, I can't go to finish scanning the keep. There's only one left um, until I get back there. <clears throat> and there's these UNC missions. Um, I know a lot of them are uh, all the same, pretty much. No, pardon me. Um, but they are um, unique. They have their unique stories, you know. Uh, and then there's a couple of other ones here. And they just might add something to the story. Um, and no, I could probably 100% it afterwards. But I think uh, it's best that I go ahead and do these. Um, before I finish that last priority mission or two. All right, let's see what this is. Something about the Matano system in the Maroon Sea cluster. Okay, so Matano system, Maroon Sea cluster. All right, let's go on the map here. What? I, I didn't mean to back out of the whole area. <laughs> okay, back out of there. Back out of there. Um. Yeah, it's like what? Hold on a second. I'm missing something. It's the Matano system, Maroon Sea cluster. So. Like, why were they, uh, on? There it is. Just not paying attention very well. Matana. Alright. Well, let's go here. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. Hey, what is it? How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. Huh. Okay. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are going to die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. Researchers are probably in on it based on uh, past stories here. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. All right. Well, is it one of those where I have to just sort of go on a planet and hope it's the right one? Well, let's go to the first one. Uh, in it, NT is a terrestrial planet with an atmosphere composed of ammonia and helium. <coughs> 
Sorry, guys. I got a cough drop. But um, I'm half dead here. You're going to have to hang with me. Its surface is mainly composed of sodium oxide with deposits of magnesium. Its density is rather low, leaving the planet tide locked to Matano. It's a remarkable world, drawing little more than a cursory scan for surface pirate anchorages when Alliance patrols enter the system. Okay. That's the wrong planet. There's nowhere to land. Guys, if, if you hear me going in and out, it's not the mic. It's my voice. <laughs> okay. Apo or Apo? Who? What is that from The Simpsons? The craggy world of Igneous and Basaltic Mountains. Apo is racked by constant geologic activity. While volcanic hot spots are rare, continental plates are constantly piling up new mountains, subducting old ones. Are causing slips along transform faults. All right. Chaska. Oh, we got a landing spot. All right. Chaska is a large but low density world fundamentally similar to its inner neighbor, Inti. Like Inti, Chaska is tidally locked to Matano. The same side always faces the sun resulting in a scorching day side and a frozen night side. In the temperate areas around the Terminator, temperatures around average around 30 Celsius. Uh, what is that in Fahrenheit? <laughs> Combined with a nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere, this slender band of habitable terrain allows limited colonization by humans. Traska's ring is unique. It appears to be, for lack of a better term, a massive piece of alien installation art. The rings are made of small pieces of synthetic material and are almost invisible from space. From the ground, they catch and scatter the light of Matano in picturesque ways. It is not known who created the ring or when. Traska is an early very early development with little more than a few pioneer teams scattered across the surface. Information is being collected about native hazards and ecology, while a massive colonist recruiting drive is carrying out back on Earth. Alright, population 150. Alright, let's... Oh, let's... Land. Uh, try not to cough in your ear, but if I do it enough, there's no point in turning this off. <laughs> try my best here, all right? I've been sick for a couple weeks at least. All right, we got uh, Rex. I take him everywhere. Um, Garrus is great. Uh... Great for marksmanship. Um, Tally is great for um, she's got biotics. Wait, no, does she? I don't know if she does. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Let me let me add her. How do I? I don't know. Um, she's got tech strength. Rex and I both have some biotics. Okay, her tech strength is just up there. So I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, I'm going to go ahead with these two. I don't know if I'm. Bring the right people. I mean, it's a side mission, pretty much. I think I'm all right. All right, what do we have here? 
sorry, my camera's in the way of the uh, little map that tells me what's on the screen. And I'm leaning back because I, I don't feel like it. <laughs> Alright, go this way. Oop. Get back to learning the controls here on driving. Okay, that's a that's a no man's zone here. So I'll go this way. Oh, wow, you get a flip there. All right, still going in the uh, possibly the wrong direction. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna turn around. If uh, if anything happens, I'll include it. Otherwise, I'll uh, touch you in when I get somewhere. Alright, we got some items on the map here. They're coming up. Look like some fungus from the, uh, from the radar there. Sorry for any weird, disgusting sounds, but uh, it is what it is. Oh man, I, I got myself into a little pit here. Uh. All right, good. All right. Got myself out. Right. Is it up here? That's a very bad place for. No, I'm just uh, trying to take shortcuts. So... Wait, is it up here? Yeah. I think I keep. Uh, Ask me, it, but it's not. Is this some on the ground here? Can I miss them? Oh yeah, it was a heading to position. Deposit. All right. Mean survey failed. All right. Rare element survey plutonium. All right, that was just uh, some plutonium. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean. Last at you, son. All right. Come on, let me out. Let me out. All right. Back to this other blotch on the map. Probably some more plutonium or some other mineral. <laughs> hmm. Okay, it's back on. <laughs> I uh, turned off the mic so I can cough there, and when I pushed the button again, it didn't come back. Come on now. <laughs> All right, I can't drive these damn Makos. I mean, I like Mako for what it is, but actually trying to drive it. Is a real big. What do we have here? Like some sort of compost heap. Alright, another mineral. Palladium. Alright, that's, that's something, I guess. 
there. Now, where am I going? Now? Because I didn't come here just for mineral deposits. Um, whatever it is, it's got to be in this direction because. Hold on. Turn around. Because those uh, barrier walls. Keeping an eye on that uh, map there as best I could. <laughs> it's got to be over. Oh, no, not that way. Got to be in this direction. Try to get the momentum going. Try not to end up in any big ditches. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna get better because uh, I still am coughing. I still have uh, issues with sinuses and. Uh, my voice is not trying to come back. Damn, man, where the hell is this? I didn't come here just for that, okay? The mineral deposits? Can't be. But this has to be where the uh, dude was talking. Oh, shit. I got myself into a situation because, yeah, come on, come on, we can do it. Come on, get up there. Shit, man. Shit. Come on. Ah, uh, that's not gonna let me. Yeah, it's like whoever was uh, designing this level just went overboard on their noise settings in blender or whatever they use to design these mountains and just made a shit ton of mountains just steep as hell all right it's got to be this way okay i see something That's one thing about this game is a lot of unnecessary travel because like they could have accomplished this in a way it's not a nuisance. I think the uh, other games get better in that regard. Number one was like practice case and of course you know, people love it because it's a great story. But they learn from their mistakes, I believe. Right, let's uh, have a couple things here. Alright, there's something right here. Pardon me. Oops, didn't mean it. Didn't need to yank it out, all right? All right, here's another deposit. I just need to take your deposits to the bank, all right? Beryllium. Let's right, get in there. And there is some enemies on this map over here. I think that might be a positive sign.
Looks deserted. Yeah, it looks are deceiving. Okay. How horrible. The entire colony must have been transformed. There's definitely some bad guys. It looks like I nailed them. Right there, at least. And we got a couple of, uh, a couple of X marks spot locations and something up there, so. Uh, we're gonna see pretty soon. Alright, there's supposed to be researchers we're supposed to save, so. Um, my target practice is not very good. So this might be a clusterfuck. Yeah. There's a couple of them. Those didn't look like researchers. That's a bitch. I'm trying to get what I can from a distance without making those zombies go in a, in a tizzy. Right? Oh, what the? Up that shit. Getting the zombies all worked up, woman. I set that off. I ain't gonna be innocent, man. Huh? <laughs> no, but it it, uh, it got these guys to come closer. All right. That's. All right, don't don't get in my way, guys. Okay. Gotcha, bitch. All right, there's another one around here somewhere. Go over here before these guys get the damn way. Hey, what's going on up there? Somebody shooting at us? Or are they shooting at them? Alright. Gotcha. Alright. I think we got him, Commander. Yeah, I noticed. Thanks. I'll take all of that. Thank you very much. Alright, I guess we're gonna See if there's anyone up here worth saving. I like the easy ones. Right? Anything over here? No. Take it. Can I go in there? No, there's nothing over there. Isn't there usually a room right there? Guess not. Alright. It must be the other X marks the spot. Or that other... That thing that looks like a pyramid. Should I go to the uh, X or should I go to that? Because that seems like it's a little closer. But that could be deceiving. I don't know. I think I'll hit the uh, other X real quick and then come back.
It's like right here, so. <laughs> Burn me, guys. Why is it uh, nobody guarding this one? Oh, there's some people in here, though. There's definitely zombies. I heard it. I don't want that shit exploding in my face. These things are great to kill with uh, headshots. Here. They go down pretty easily. Oh, come on. You get in my fucking way. Turn an easy kill into a damn mission. I'll shoot you in the gonads, bitch. Make sure there's nobody sneaking up on me, right? Not that one. Uh, it's in my way, look at that. Alright, I think I got them all. Is there anybody in here worth saving? It's like, uh, it's like, where the hell is the researchers? Are they in the pyramid? Uh, somebody up here. Come here, bitch. Catch. Dead and done. Just the way I like them. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, same. All right, we guys. Hmm. Got some descriptions here. They're a little forgiving here on the uh, button press. The timing of it, anyway. Except for that one time, I was like, what the hell? Do you see that? Yeah. Those damn shadows are really made me paranoid. <laughs> Nothing over there. Yeah, they must be... Uh, must be in that pyramid, so it's a good thing I came here first, right? Oh, man. You know, try to make YouTube videos, um, when my voice was gone, right? And it's not quite all the way here. I'm trying not to cough so much, but... Yeah, it makes it really hard. Plus, uh, I got no energy. Really, so. And I've been this way for at least a couple weeks. Alright, we gotta go back. Uh, huh. No, I'm gonna go this way because there's another X. And some enemies. Maybe a uh, third time's a charm. <laughs> Blast of that fool. There's somebody else over here. 
They ain't catching me off guard. Huh. Blasted. Look at his ass. He just a uh, big hop and a skip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this this has to be it. It's one of these uh little round buildings. Where's the door? Little underground bunker. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Watch. Right, let's try not to shoot researchers. I know it's easier said than done. Like what if they start shooting at me, right? Uh, it's a safe area. This is when we start knocking on the door, they start throwing a fit. And it begins, right? Alright, so... We're blocked off here. That's good, at least. We could funnel them in. Ooh. Yep, funnel, funnel. Shit. Can't shoot worth a damn. Alright, nothing's coming around that way, I hope. Oh, I was wrong. Something's getting me. All right, we got one more. All right, at least that's it on the map anyway. Clear like herpes. All right. Um, there's got to be around here somewhere, right? Why am I squinting? <laughs> I'm down on my ass being funny, right? What's that? Hmm. We got a door over here. We got something on the map here. An exclamation point. Uh, resources. Ah, shit. Damn it. I had it myself on the button press, right? All right, it's just resources over here. All right, the co a colonial pioneer team rarely consists of more than a few dozen specialists. It's clear that none of them have survived. The Cerberus group has a lot to answer for here. Downloaded the logs. Did I download these? Yeah, I downloaded them. All right. So there are no researchers to save. Let me go over here and see what's up. basically just an empty room it's like no man's sky put some furniture <laughs> so i love no man's sky but uh you know i i don't i stopped playing it really because they limit your base resources and it really pissed me off uh because i was building some pretty nice looking bases and then 
all of a sudden I was unable to build anymore. Where the hell is the exit? So that really just sort of annoyed me and made me sort of, you know, give up on it because I had to destroy other bases in order to continue. Uh, every now and then I'll log in and check it out, but uh, for the most part, I don't I don't play No Man's Sky very much anymore. Alright, so I think that's that's all there is of this. Yeah, let's go this way because I ran around completely over there. Yeah. Is it worth going to that uh pyramid thing? I don't know. Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. Might as well check it out because we're here, right? Could be some solid resources. It's gonna be up a mountain. Or no, it's not. It's like some sort of satellite, I guess. Versus recovered items. Alright, I think that's that for this. Uh, how do I get the hell out of here? Alright, so we did that mission and no researchers to save. See, so yeah, that's a little to the story. I don't know um, what dialogue it's going to bring up later. Um, or what I might discover because of it. But I definitely think I need to do uh, all those, or at least most of them. Um, hey, you guys, you know, if you're watching this series, tell me what you think. You want me to skip them and come back to them after I beat the uh, main mission, or if I should continue. Because uh, right now I'm just going to continue uh, the side missions and then continue that story mission uh if you want to see it a different way you know let me know so uh i'm gonna let this one go for now um and i will uh wrap up this series because i'm i'm sort of in a hurry at this point uh with this um, i only got a, i'm guessing a little bit of little nightmares left um number two uh and hogwarts um, and I still got a bit left to go, I think. So, uh, I try to wrap up these other two games, um, and, and play some Hogwarts a bit while doing reaction videos and, uh, you know, get started on another game. Um, obviously Mass Effect 2 is going to be one, at least one game that I start, but there's something else I want to play that I've never played before. Um. And it's, there's a couple games to it. So, uh, you know, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to see what that is. I uh, appreciate your support on this series and, and everything else that I do. And thanks for your patience while I'm trying to recover. All right, catch you on the next one. Peace.